And that's how I saved Gotham. I forgot to do the voice. Oh, Batman doesn't swear, and neither should you. But if you do happen to swear in your videos, whether it be for a serious reason or comedic effect, and you want it to be censored out because you do not want it to get like flagged, or you just think censoring out curse words is funny, how do you go ahead and do that? Well, we'll go ahead and have our clip. We'll need to find where the curse word is. Right there, beautiful. Now what we can do is we can go to our product panel, hit new item and create a bars and tones. And if you do not have the ability to be able to create bars and tones in your own editing software, what you can do is just download a sensor beep sound effect. So we'll go ahead and delete that, boom. Our tone right here, we'll go ahead and shrink it down to where the curse word is and find it right there and bring it right up and boom and we'll adjust the volume of it so it's not so like in your face. Perfect. Now, I tend to not like to just cover up the pre-existing word with the curse word because what if I create an audio track effect that affects the whole layer one and I don't want the sensor beep to be affected by that. So we'll go ahead and undo this, bring it back down. Now what we'll do is we will go to the curse word and we'll go ahead and create keyframe. We can hold control and to click to create some keyframes. Now, if you do want to hear some of the curse word, you'll bring the keyframes in a little bit so we can hear that f sh. If not, we'll go ahead and create it just outside of it and we'll drag it down, boom, so that way then we hear nothing. And we'll go ahead and click through. Beautiful, now we are censored out, but Let's say you're a lip reader and you can still tell, mm, he still said a curse word. He said a naughty, naughty word. Well, what we can do is we can go back over here to our product panel, hit new item adjustment layer and drag it over onto our clip, trim it accordingly. Now we can go to our effects panel, which is right here and search mosaic, bring it on and it's not maybe what we want, but we can go to the effect itself and hit the circle to create a mask, and we'll shrink it to be mouth size. Beautiful, now what we'll do as well is we'll increase the horizontal blocks and vertical blocks, that way then we could see a little bit more detail in the face. If you like, you can adjust the feather or just leave it the way it is. Now, what we'll do is we'll go to the beginning of the clip where it starts, and we can go ahead and hit the play button to see if it will mask and follow subject. I've had luck where sometimes it follows it perfectly and sometimes it does not. So we'll see how it goes. Didn't follow it at a while. So we'll go ahead and delete all that, come back to the beginning, grab it, click the clock icon right here and we'll just move forward a few frames, grab the mask and readjust it so that way then it follows the Batman's mouth. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and play the clip. Great, there we go. Now we're all set. Now, maybe if you're like, mm, I don't like that blur effect, I wanna get rid of that, we can go ahead and delete that, come back to our project panel. I, we didn't actually need to come back to our project panel. We'll go ahead and click the rectangle tool and we'll create a mouth shape box over Batman's mouth right there. We'll trim it accordingly and readjust it just a little bit. Now, in our properties tab in the top right, which if you don't see it, you can go to window, properties, We'll go ahead and click this icon to create a new layer. We'll create a text layer and we'll do the classic, oh, he's swearing, but we don't want to show what it is. We'll go ahead if we want to change our text, maybe something bold in your face and we'll shrink it down a little bit and grab it to bring it right over the Batman's mouth. Beautiful. And now with this, what we'll do is we'll do the same thing. We'll come over to our vector motion in our effects tab and we'll just adjust the position so that way then we follow Batman. Perfect, and we'll go ahead and bring, come back out and play. Oh. There we go. And that's how you can create the effect and you don't need to just use this. You can create an image if you wanna put a cow there or a chicken or the, the poop emoji. Possibilities are endless. So that's how you censor your actor. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.